Today guys, usapang chargers naman tayo. And I know, ang daming questions sa inyo uh, asking uh, itong charger na po, pwede ba to sa phone ko? Or interchangeable ba mga brands na charger? What's QC 2.0, QC 3.0? Pinagkaiba ng flash charge sa hyper charge, sa super charge? Alamin natin dito sa video na ito. Tatalakay natin and let you know kung yung fast charging, okay ba siya na technology o hindi. Simulan natin. Let's go! So hi guys, I'm Sir Chon, Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So today, pag-uusapan natin is the charger. Basically, everything chargers today. And charging our batteries, siguro, I guess, itatakal na natin kundi about the battery na rin as well. So I have here a lot of chargers dito sa aking table. And I know that each company has their own chargers. So saan nagsimula nga ba ito? Well, it started sa Quick Charge 1. QC1, that's the very first one. And it started with a 10 watts of charger. Lahat ng phone support yan. It started sa micro USB pa yon. Then, King Quick Charge 2, naging 18 watts ang fast charging na siya. Yung pinaka-common na alam natin lahat, probably is QC3. QC3, that's Quick Charge 3. That's a, uh, it can charge as high as 36 watts. Ang daming phone na support yan. Then, after that, si QC4, which hindi na siya masyadong pumatok. Though, it's there. I can support up to 100 watts of fast charging. And after that is the QC5, which halos hindi na natin narinig sa mga smartphone manufacturer, no? which can support as uh, higher than 100 watts of fast charging. There's 120, 160, 180, and now meron mga 210. But of course, all of those are proprietary na charger. So, of course, uh, all of these phones mostly supports up to QC3 and probably QC4. So, yung mga lalo mga medyo mid-tire and of course mga higher end, it supports mga QC3 and QC4. So, pag buwibili kayo ng mga chargers like yung mga brands like Ugreen, Vasius, Momax, and the rest, like this one, uh, mga gun chargers, harapin yun, uh, mga may QC3 and may QC4. And probably PD, pwede rin. Ang PD is mostly used sa mga pang-charge ng laptops, no? so power delivery. It used for mostly mga uh, laptop na using USB Type-C na charging. Pwede siya. So, ito yun. No? This one has a PD. Ito kay Ugly na gamit natin no? madalas. Right now, i-break down natin a little bit yung mga chargers na different brands na ginagamit nila. And most of them, hindi sila intercompatible. Now, now starting off with Apple. Most of them using uh, Lightning or Type-C. So, yung charging rig niya is always mga 18 to 27 watts. That's a standard. Though, wala na siyang charger sa box. But you can buy mga na si from Ugreen and Momax na fast chargers. Okay na, pwede na kay Apple yun. Now, kay Samsung naman, it can charge as high as 45 watts. Well, I... Rarely know na going beyond 45 watts kay Samsung. Mas hahanap lang kayo ng charger na may USB na may PD, pwede na yun kay Samsung. Na pag-usapan naman natin ang from BBK. So, so alam naman natin under na umbrella ng BBK, there's four smartphone brands, Vivo, Oppo, OnePlus, and Redmi. So all of them using the same technology, okay? So VOOC, book tawag natin doon. So si OnePlus, it's using a dark charge. So, lahat ng below na 65 watts na phones uh, supporting uh, like OnePlus 9, mga dark charger yung gamit nun. Then, pagdating naman sa OnePlus 10, 80 watts and above, it use Superbook charger na. Okay. And, pagdating naman kay Realme, gamit naman nila dark charge. But, it's basically the same technology lang naman dito kay OnePlus. And, of course, pagdating naman kay Vivo, gamit nila flash charge. And, well, uh, I did try experimenting one of those days. Tinay ko lang, nagkabalik na mga chargers. And it did charge ng mabilisan. So, gumagana naman siya. And si Oppo also using Superbook charge. And by the way, guys, si uh, OnePlus right now is integrated back to Oppo. So, same sila. Superbook charger na yung gamit nila. Kaya huwag kayo magtataka. Kasi before, it used to be dark charge. Now, pagdating naman kay Xiaomi, one of the industry's forefront, na nagpasimuno ng mga fast charger, 120 watts. And tawag dito sa 120 watts na fast charger is called hypercharge. So it works kay Xiaomi, kay Redmi, kay Poco, and even kay Black Shark. Now, uh, if you're going a little bit lower than 65 watts, tawag niya kay sa charger nila is turbo charge kay Xiaomi. Ang pinak-exciting ngayon right now is yung kay Infinix. It can charge up to 180 watts. Ang tawag niya dyan is 
Ta 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 Thunder Charge. I'm I'm really uh, amazed with the name. No, parang wow, ganda no. Thunder Charge. It's unique. I love it. Ang ganda ng pangalang. Ganda ng tunog sa akin tayong Thunder Charge. I mean, 180 watts. But 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 the si Redmi Note 12 Pro sa China will be coming with a 210 watts ng hypercharge. So, that's the fastest. Imagine matatapos mo charging in just less than 10 minutes. I mean, it's really crazy, no? I mean, I mean, kaya ba ng battery mo uh, to absorb that fast? I mean, yeah, that's the technology right now. But, of course, uh, ako, personally, uh, I use fast chargers. But, I also use yung mga 33 watts of charger pa rin at the same time. Now, uh, here's the thing dito sa mga fast charger. I know most of us, like me, lagi on the go tayo. Kailangan natin yan eh, mag-charge in just 20 minutes. Okay, go. Tapos mo maligo, tapos na. Tapos mo charge Pwede kong malis. Full charge ang yung phone. Now, uh, one of the things na napansin ko sa fast charger, pag sobrang fast mo charge, at the same time, sometimes, mabilis siya mag-break. Okay. Pag nag-charge ko siya na using 33 watts, same phone, uh, may Xiaomi 12 Pro, Parang sabi ko, eh, parang mas tumatagal siya throughout the day. So, I did a little bit more research. Ang fast charger, it can uh, pinapaigsin yung buhay ng iyong battery. So, ako, suggest ko, if you love fast charging, okay, no problem. Use the technology nandyan eh. Okay? So, 120 watts, 180 watts, 160 watts, 210 watts, whatsoever, gamitin nyo. It's good. But, time to time, gamitan nyo ng slow charger pa rin. If you're hindi kayo mamadali, iwan mo lang. Um, 33 watts, 60, 65 watts, okay, wala problema. And uh, that would prolong pahabain yung life ng iyong uh, battery. And now, there's another one na napansin ko, no? There's one thing na napansin ko sa Honor, no? And it says na uh, pwede siya mag-charge up to 80%. Yun yung pinaka-ceiling niya, which can even extend your battery life a little bit longer than always charging to 100 well, there's some truth to it and there's, uh, I'm not quite sure. It, based on my personal experience, yes, uh, if you always charge to 100, medyo umitsin ang buhay ng battery mo. Maybe after a year. And depende naman sa inyo, no? Kung ako naman, uh, I always charge it to 100. But I make sure na hindi lagi using yung supercharger. Kasi, pampaitsin ang buhay dalaga. It's a given fact. So, Time to time, gamitan nyo lang ng slower charger para medyo mag-trickle charge siya para pang prolong ng buhay niya. So, of course, if you want to charge it to 80, 85, okay, it's up to you. Uh, wala namang harm, no harm in doing so. If, uh, if it's your practice, then okay. Kasi there are uh, people who are saying na, mga experts saying na, you charge it to uh, 100, mas mabilis, 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 mabilis ang battery mo in the long run. And at the same time, if you keep on draining your battery down to zero, dahil tapos na rin ang Nokia days, if are, there are some of you still stuck sa draining your battery before charging, i telling you, stop doing that. Kasi masisira yung phone. Because it's not meant to be that way. Kasi nickel metal hydride back in Nokia days, yes, kailangan mo i-drain. But now, lithium iron, lithium polymer, hindi mo na kailangan gawin yun. Mas lalo masisira yung phone. Trust me, mas mahirap pa minsan mag-jumpstart pa starting from a drain, fully drain na battery. Si Huawei naman, it uses Supercharge and as well as Honor uses Supercharge. And both of them are quite interchangeable. Now, probably the next thing that's running inside your mind is itong mga charger nito, are they interchangeable? Well, no, I don't think so. If you are using between Redmi, Xiaomi, uh, and Poco, tsaka si Black Shark, interchangeable sila. If you're using between Vivo, Si Oppo, si OnePlus, saka si Realme, interchangeable yan. Huawei and saka si Honor, interchangeable sila. I'm not quite sure kay Tecno saka kay Infinix, ha? but they uh, belong under one same umbrella saka si Itel. I'm not quite sure kung interchangeable sila. Haven't really tested it. Maybe you can try and comment on the comment section below kung na-try na na siya. And pagdating naman sa kila Apple, sila Samsung, Sony, Motorola, all of them use plain PD charger. So, universal. Mas madali ang buhay mo doon. And si Nokia is still stuck dito sa block charger pa rin. So guys, if you learned something from this video, don't forget to share, like, and of course, click that bell icon para nyo miss mga future uploads dito sa aking char cha 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 channel. And so, ako pala si Richmond and you're watching Gadget Psyche. Watch out!